Hello everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. If you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Uh, Total OS Today is total technology for dummies or newbies. Well, we are going to take a look at a uh, Linux uh, distribution with the punny name, as it says here, a funny name. It's Fuduntu, 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 F-U-D-U-N-T-U, Fuduntu. Sounds like a piece of cheese, doesn't it? I'll take a slice of Fuduntu with some Parmesan. All right, moving along. This really is a Linux uh, distribution that I think might be geared for uh, new users, maybe want, wanting to try something uh, different uh, or maybe as a dual boot with Windows 7. This uses the classic, what I call the classic uh, Linux or the classic GNOME 2 desktop interface. And we will take a quick look at this and you may want to, like I said, consider this as a replacement or as an alternative to your Windows PC. So as you see here, it says, welcome to Fuduntu. Uh, this is version 2013.1, punny name, serious distro. Thank you for downloading Fuduntu, so on and so forth. There is some documentation here which should be able to help you out. If you are new to this, make sure you click the getting started link right here. Now I'm running this inside a virtual machine, so disregard the top panel bar here that's got the uh, Toss Today uh, login screen or login short shortcut here and everything else at the top. Well, this is the default desktop here with this rather nice looking uh, Tiger uh, wallpaper. And like I said, this is classic GNOME 2. Once again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just follow along. But this is going to be a, a throwback, really, to the old GNOME, GNOME 2 classic interface before everything uh, went topsy-turvy. According to some of the community, the GNOME 3 or GNOME shell, a lot of people don't like it. Uh, a lot of people don't like Ubuntu with Unity. I prefer Ubuntu Unity over GNOME, sh GNOME shell, or although GNOME shell for me is okay. It's just not my favorite. But you can right click with this and you have some options here as you would in Windows 7. And the ability to change uh, background wallpaper. And there should be quite a few here as they pop up. Let me just uh, scroll down here. And there are quite a few. This one here with the sunset looks nice. Of course the tiger and so on and so forth. Uh, you have different themes. A nice selection here. And the ability to change the fonts. What I do like about this is a shortcut here that says get more themes uh, online. So if you're a newbie or a dummy, this is perfect for you to uh, add to your customization of Linux. We have something at the bottom, a dock. I believe this is the Cairo dock with the very nice preview panes here as I scroll along. And I noticed that VLC is installed by default. VLC is a terrific uh, media player for both Windows and Linux. I'm glad that's in here. This should play any kind of video and audio file. And of course, you can customize the stock if you want to add Cairo Dock. There are some other configuration options here. Behavior, appearance, add-ons, and themes. All right, I'll just leave it to the default setting just to keep this review simple. Okay, it says here this is the simple configuration panel of Cairo Dark. Okay, moving right along, we have, of course, the time and the date, my internet, the volume. I believe with this you have the ability, yes, you, uh, the, the ability to right-click and add applets to the panel, which is missing in GNOME Shell or GNOME 3 and the Unity desktop. This is what I love about uh, the old-style GNOME 2. It's a simplicity and a functionality. You can add anything uh, to this that you want to. Let's see, what shall we add here? Oh, let's just add the logout, add that. And there you have it. You can click that. I do not want to log out of the system now, but you can right click and move this such as I am now. Again, it's very customizable. I'll just leave it there for now. Starting from the left, we have accessories. Now I will maybe pick a highlight of each one here. There are there are many, many pieces of software installed in this for newbies. Oh, we have a calculator. Uh, nothing really sticks out here. Graphics. The GIMP is an excellent photo editing program. Internet. Chromium web browser. Excellent installed by default. Office. We have uh, LibreOffice. 
This seems to be not the full functioning LibreOffice, but it really doesn't matter if you're into uh, typing a lot of stuff, writing a lot of stuff, this should be enough. Sound and video, we have again VLC, excellent media player, system tools. Let's see, the one thing that sticks out here, by the way, let's see how much RAM this is using. Wow, very lightweight, about 184 megabytes of RAM, very nice. All right, getting back to here, the system tools. The one thing that sticks out here, uh, Alyris, it says a simple uh, installer in GNOME Tweaker. I think I did a review of this a while back. Uh, let me just, let me get out of this. This is similar, let me think for a second, similar to a program called Ubuntu Tweak, where this is gives you the ability to use uh, a systemized uh, shortcuts to tweak your system this you can go from info I'm, I'm just going to go left to right to keep it simple information about your PC system settings and you have a drop menu here menu sub menu install software and it's asking me to download not at this time and you have the ability to install software based on categories it would appear repositories clean up so on and so forth I think you get a picture here but yes yeah, this is a very nice uh, tweaker tweaker for your operating system well let me just get out of this and keep on going yes I would like to exit now I noticed so far <coughs> excuse me this is not um, running slow crashing giving me any kind of glitches whatsoever it's extremely stable even in a virtual environment let's go to places of course the home folder I believe this uses um, Nautilus, I'm not mistaken. Yes, Nautilus Elementary 2.32.2. .2. Very simple. You can change how this looks, by the way, if you go to, um, let's see, uh, Preferences here. And we can switch from Icon View to List View. And will it not let me? Maybe it doesn't do it in a live environment. Let me try something else here. Compact view, maybe. And let's see, let's see if we can change the size. Go to that. Okay, it changed the size of the icons. All right, looks like it would allow me to do that. Let me see if I click here. Does anything? There we go. That that that's what I was looking for. Okay, I think you get the picture here. We'll leave it back to the default icon view, just a little bit smaller. All right, moving along, yeah, I think you get to picture here your other uh, folders here, documents, music, pictures, and of course this is running off the, um, I just downloaded this running off the uh, virtual machine. I don't have anything installed in this. Let's go to system, preferences. Let's see what sticks out here. Desktop effects, yeah, let's take a look at that. What do we have here? Okay, simple graphics suitable for low-end machines or Compiz 3D accelerated visually appealing desktop. If you're going to click this, I'd strongly recommend that you have a dual core machine with a decent video card. All right, going back to system administration. Let's see what sticks out here. Well, if I was a newbie, I would probably oh add remove remove software. This is where you will have the ability to download extra uh, packages or extra uh, software. So for example, if I wanted to install the media player, let's say Banshee, I can type that in. Find. And there we have it. Easily import manage and play selection from your uh, music collection and some exten extensions. extensions can't speak tonight also um, I don't know if if this is based off of a uh, partly based off um, Fedora and Udi and Ubuntu but I, I believe it uses the RPM package so I don't know if this has a um, a software center such as what you would see in the Ubuntu software center uh, I think that would be a little bit a little bit more helpful for uh, newbies all right let me get out of this Let's see, we saw add remove software. What else six, six sticks out here? Um, software update. Getting information. 
And really, when you install any kind of Linux-based uh, system, make sure you update your system first. Uh, you may have to reboot once, usually, and that should get you fully going on your new operating system. Okay, well, this is still getting information, and, and, and like I said, I'm running this in a virtual machine, so I really don't have to uh, download any updates. I just wanted you to see how this would work. You have the icon here to install to the hard drive which I double clicked it but I will not be installing it and you have different languages here so let me just get out of this yes I will exit installer so what do I what do I think of this well as a dual booter I think this looks terrific again this is the uh, this is to me this is the classic Linux or at least a form of a classic Linux desktop environment how it looks uh, this is what Ubuntu had for years and, and I guess you can still get this in the 2D mode or, or the rather the fallback mode for Ubuntu. But this is what a lot of, um, shall I say, hardcore Linux users, this is what they prefer over, you know, the GNOME shell look or the Unity desktop or really almost anything else for that matter. This is probably the number one choice for Linux users. I mean, and I really don't mind using this. It's nothing special, but it is easy and simple on the eyes and in terms of... Uh, functionality sure I think it's great so yes I would probably recommend this for a new, new user if you wanted to try out something different um, I prefer uh, for new users I think Zorin 6 would probably still be the best choice if for the simple fact that at least it looks a little bit like Windows and if and, and if it looks like Windows it may make you feel more comfortable but this is actually pretty good and, and like I said it runs fast no glitches I haven't noticed anything bad whatsoever, so you may want to take a look at this. The um, and I just thought of a joke. This tiger that's staring out, you know, to my left, uh, he's scared of something. He's looking at a monitor of the new Windows 8 operating system, and he's thinking to himself, "I'm out of here, pal. Goodbye." <laughs> just a joke. Please don't yell at me. All right, guys. I'll. Uh, that's it for this review for. Um, uh, lost track for doing two. Uh, thank you for watching, and as and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future. Ciao.